as you can maybe guess, we are not in Illinois this week. I got to do some fun trail running in Illinois, which you're going to see in this video. But also, I am here in Sarasota, Florida, spring break, visiting my parents. It's a pretty good place for them to live, trying not to get hit by a car, and we're going to the beach. Um, but while down here, do some running too, but you're also going to get to see some of that. So, hope you enjoy the video. So here we are in Sarasota, Florida. It is spring break for Northwestern because we're on the quarter system, which is really confusing a lot of the time for me still, having spent about eight years, no, four, five, six, seven years in higher education at the semester system. The quarter takes a little bit of time to get used to, but it is beautiful here. I am not much of a beach guy. I could truthfully probably go the rest of my life and not miss it too much. Um, but it's definitely more fun visiting family down here in Florida than it used to be visiting them in Pennsylvania. And I've been getting to do some great running while I'm down here, which has been a definite plus. You're going to get to see some of that, as well as additional running that I did in Illinois with Ali. We went on a nine mile trail run, um, which was pretty great. Uh, so we're going to be doing some more running down here, but overall I hope you really enjoy this uh, week's video. It's a little bit different. You're going to see some different environments, some different mini obstacles, um, but overall it's been a really awesome week for running, getting to try out some new, some new things, and this isn't a bad consolation. So, see you soon. Hey guys, Steve here, and we're heading out at Sag Valley Trail System, and this is my friend Ali, who I'm, I'm pretty sure you've heard about in other videos. We're here hopefully doing an eight mile trail loop. Um, this is my first trail run since I've been in Chicago, since as you can imagine, there aren't a ton of trails in downtown Chicago. Uh, Ali lives a few subway stops south of me, so we both do a lot of running on Lakeshore Drive, which is great. But very excited to be here today, hopefully getting in a little bit of a longer run. It's a little windy, but as you can see, it's pretty beautiful, mid upper 50s, and we just finished our second quarter at Northwestern. Yay! So we're psyched about that. Um, and we're both doing the Chicago Perfect 10 coming up on April 9th. I'm doing the 10K, Ali's doing the 10 mile. Uh, so we'll check back in with you throughout this run and at the end and tell you how it went. See you soon. Hey Ali, you wanna get a Starbucks? Sure. I think they're closed. Hey, hey, you want the good news or the bad news? What? The good news or the bad news? Uh, good news. We've almost run six miles. Bad news? Remember how long this run was supposed to be? Eight. Remember how early that turnaround looked like it was? Yeah, where was that? Don't pretend like you're not mad. Did you pass it and not tell me? I think we both passed it. I think you passed it and didn't tell me. No, I asked for directions. Hey, what you doing, Steve? Uh, you know, just pumping some water. Nice! Hey, what you doing, Allie? Oh, sorry, I'm ready. I'm ready. Hey, Steve, what's that bench called? No runner runs alone. Patrick Miswicki is with you. Run it in! Woo! Made it. Well, we told you we would not make it eight miles, and we did not make it eight miles. How far did we make it? Nine miles. 9.01 miles. Yeah. Just, just for all the doubters out there. So how do you feel after your first big trail run? I feel very tired, but very accomplished, and I feel wonderful. The endorphins are kicking in. What um what challenge was like where do you feel like the body or what felt better to you? What was easier than you thought? What was more what was more difficult? I was surprised at how quickly I felt it in my legs. Usually on my um, paved runs I won't feel it in my legs till like the very end, till like mile seven or eight. This one it was like mile three and I could feel it. So that was crazy. Um, it also hurt my feet a lot more than I thought it was going to, but got through it. And for me, uh, this is my longest run by almost three miles that I've done since December and I can't believe how good 
my legs feel, especially my ankles. A little bit of tightness in my right soleus, a little bit of my right gastric, but my left feels great. The actual joint itself feels great and a much slower pace than I'm used to, which if you've seen any of my previous videos, you know has been one of my challenges. Uh, so I'm in pretty high spirits with these races starting to come up. I hope you can hear us over the wind. As you can maybe guess, I am on a run right now. My first run since getting to Florida at 9.30 this morning, catching a 6 a.m. flight from Chicago. So I had about three, three hours of sleep, uh, and I'm doing a 70 minute run. Cycle is a 17 minutes slow, three minutes fast. Um, and I just finished 40 of those minutes. And I know, I know, I should have kept going and blah, blah, blah. And yeah, you need to push yourself and all that stuff, but I also run for fun. Um, and man, let me tell you, it's not even that warm, but running in humidity, very different from running in cool, dry climates like we've been doing in Chicago. Um, so I'm having a good run, but I definitely feel heavier. It's definitely a little bit harder to breathe. I'm sweating at all compared to Chicago in the, in the winter where, as you can imagine, I might not sweat so much, but it is pretty, pretty humid here right now. There's a slight breeze, which isn't too bad, but um, check out the surroundings, yeah? Some nice trails to go on here, some nice shade, and uh, running on that trail as opposed to pavement or concrete or cement or whatever it might be that's a harder surface. Feels so much better on my legs, I can't even tell you guys. Um, so I've got 30 minutes to go, let's go. So that was this week's video, I hope you guys enjoy it, uh, or enjoyed it. And I will see you next week when I'm probably in a slightly less enjoyable atmosphere than this. But stay tuned because we should be having some more interesting runs coming up. Uh, race in a couple weeks, things to stick around for. See you then.